Hi everyone. I wanted to come and show you my new patterns. Now I went to Joanne and Hobby Lobby down south. I call it down south. It's about a 20 minute drive south for me. I went earlier this week and Joanne had both Simplicity and McCall's for $1.99. They only had a few of the new Spring 2020 Simplicities, and they had none of the new McCall's 2020. So I could get a few Simplicities, not all the ones that I wanted, and none of the McCall's. Typical! Then I just went to my Hobby Lobby today, and they had everything. They had the new Simplicity, which aren't on sale though. They had the brand new Spring 2020 McCall's and they had the new Spring 2020 new looks. So I was very excited. I shot some footage in the store. Uh, however, it is very quiet talking. So what I'm gonna do in this video, when that insert comes up, I will prompt you to volume up so that you can hear. And then when I'm gonna come back, I will warn you to volume down so that you don't blast your ears out. But it is a little nerve wracking to record in a store as quiet as Hobby Lobby. Mine is very quiet and they have a of employees so there's always someone around and there are other customers and I'm blabbering away and I just tend to talk very quietly so I apologize that the noise levels in this video are gonna go like this but I'll give you warning okay um, so first we'll start with the simplicity patterns that I was able to pick up at Joanne for $1.99. Such a good sale. I know that CSS Industries that bought the big four has been sold again. And it is my understanding that they've been bought by a company in the UK. So I don't know what's gonna happen if we're still going to be able to have these big sales. And I hope that the UK gets these sales and Australia and Canada and everyone else who loves to sew because it's not fair that we in the States are the only ones who get the $1.99 sales. It just, it makes me sad. At any rate, I will show you what I got. At Joey, no, wait a minute, getting confused. At, at, my brain all right let's try that again i'm going to show you the patterns i got at hobby lobby today which are mccall's spring 2020. there's only two of them the collection has gotten some criticism for being too ruffly now I do think that McCall's, even though I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with them, I do think that they design for a younger demographic, younger than me. And that's fine, that's great. So I didn't see a whole lot that I was interested in. However, let's see what I picked. I did pick up McCall's 8097. This is a very easy and basic elastic waist skirt. And I love View B right there. So you have a couple options and they're very roughly. But I like ruffles. Although, you know, you have to kind of skirt the line between a little too roughly for your age, right? McCall's 8097. It has been given a name, Oriah. 
The other new McCall's I picked up was 8085. This is a cute dress. It looks a little prairie-esque, but I like the real plain view C. You know, I'm always gonna like the plainest view. Nine times out of 10, give me the plainest view. So that is view C. I am not certain if it's a maxi or a midi. Maybe it's a maxi. That also has a name, Ciela. And that is McCall's 8085. These were bought at Hobby Lobby today because Joanne earlier in the week did not have any new, some, any new McCall's. They had a rack of the new Simplicity, but like I say, not all of them. So I got the ones that I wanted and I left without getting all of the ones I wanted. This is Simplicity 9101. It is a simple summer dress and my favorite view is this one right here it looks like you have a casing and it ties on either side. This is for wovens. So cute. That is 9101 Simplicity. The other thing about the Simplicity Spring 2020 release is that they featured several pairs of pants that have the flat front and the elastic in the back. And I really favor that style. But okay, so this is 9112. I do like the pants. They're perhaps a tad wide for me. I might um, take in those legs a little bit. Love the shirts. And I do not like this sarong going over the front of the pants, but that is a style that you can choose. And that is Simplicity 9112. Then I got Simplicity 9121, and these pants do have a bit of a flat front, elastic in the back, pockets. Love, love the plain shirt. Plain, that's me, I like plain. And you can also get the little girl's size in there, but that would not apply to me. Finally, McCall, uh, Simplicity 9113. You do get the pants in this pattern, even though they don't show it in the line art there on the cover. There's all the art on the back. I like those shirts. Maybe the short one. I don't think I like the real, real long one. But it, it could be pretty cool. So those were the new Spring 2020 Simplicities and McCall's that I picked up this week. And I need to buy one of those clip-on microphones. My channel, my channel is so bare bones. Colin's like, Mom, you need custom thumbnails. I'm like, please don't bring up nails. Sore subject with me. Okay, volume up. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm sitting here in Hobby Lobby, paging through the new McCall's. And look, that's my crepe from Fabric Mart. I was pretty excited to see that. Um, that is McCall's 8093. My Hobby Lobby has the brand new Spring 2020 McCall's patterns. You know, I'm a little leery of McCall's. And let's look through this really quickly. I'll show you the brand new, new looks. All right? I'm a little self-conscious of talking too loudly. We'll just take a quick look 
and see what they are offering. There's a jumpsuit, so that trend has not ended. Um, that's a really pretty summer top. That is out of Wovens. There's that jumpsuit again. These are new looks, okay? So we have a pretty satin high neck with a bow in the back. Very nice, very nice. Uh, the pants are not listed. Why does that always happen? Uh, however, on this page, we do have some pants in stripes. Those are ankle length and they're a little bit flared. Really cute skirt. Loving all the blue. Oh, that's cute. A shirtwaist dress. Longer length. Double elastic at the waist. I love that. And here we have sleeveless dress with a sash. Longer in the back buttons up the front. Very crisp. Um, oh, it looks like it flares out in the back. I'm not sure about that. And this is a little tiny bit of a cold shoulder look. Femine. The season of femine dresses. Now, is that a typo? I don't know. Very pretty fabric. That looks like a rayon poplin to me. And that is knee length. Over here we have pink and gold again. Rather basic, although the hemline is pretty. And this is a knit that ties in the front and you attach the sashes right there at the side seam. Here's a lovely satin top again that ties at the waist. And the pants aren't listed. This is an interesting dress. You make a slip dress and then you make this sheer top to go over it and tie at the shoulder. All right, those are the dresses. Now I will try and get to the separates for you if they have any new separates. All right, they're putting that in the separates category. However, it's jumpsuit. This is the cover top. Curved empire waist with a little bit of gathers. Very pretty. And you can make it sleeveless. Here we have that lovely woven summer top. It just looks cool. It looks like they've used linen. Here are the other views. Buttons on the front. Jumpsuit. I've seen this many, many times. All right, here is that satin top that ties at the neck in the back. And there is the alternating view. Cute pants. I'm a little, you know, I was really stung by those new look pants that I made <laughs> a while back, but I usually love their pants. Not much for flares, but um, there's the line drawing on those and you can make them shorter. Nice fit. Waist comes up a little bit higher. Here's the cute skirt, slit, looks like rayon, definitely wovens, yes. Oh, they don't have the fabric listed here. And the alternate views. That's an old pattern. I've made the topper and the knit tank. Here's that pretty satin top that ties at the waist. Oh, and the pants do come with it. Aren't those pretty? That's a really classy outfit. Very nice. 
and I think we're done with the new releases. I'm not going to go to the kids. Um, okay, I'll pick this up at when I get home. Bye for now. Look what I found in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. It is this adorable little toddler dress. It is all handmade. It has inseam pockets, little cuffs, color blocked. And you guys, it is six dollars. It is killing me to leave that hanging there. I think it would fit about a 2T, but I don't know any little girls. I don't know any. So I will leave it here for someone to buy. But think of that, $6 for a beautiful little handmade dress. I just, the pockets just kill me. The whole thing kills me, $6. All right, bye. What did you think? Did you see any new looks that you love? I guess I was a little underwhelmed. I do love that brand of patterns. I'm sure I'll buy, I'm sure I'll buy plenty. And how about that dress? Oh, I did buy some fabric in Hobby Lobby, but it's for a gift, so I'm not gonna show it here. And that's all I have for you today. We had gorgeous sunlight earlier and now the sun has gone away. But uh, the temperature is quite pleasant and I'm wishing you well. I'm wishing you well. I will be back with my Fabric Mart make next. I'm hoping that'll be Monday and take care everybody i'll talk with you soon bye